welcome back to my latest trapping video. We're gonna be doing some thousand IQ traps in this video. Also, if you didn't, uh, or if you missed my stream that I just did, I did rebuild all my troops from my previous video, so don't worry, I have all my troops back and everything's fine. Um, but yeah, this one's gonna be a clip from a little while ago. Obviously, I usually release my clips a couple months after they uh, happen, just so people don't know what I'm doing and all that. Um, the last one where I got kind of like took the Emperor Gangbang, that one was basically just like, that was the only one I really put out right away. So these are the ones that were in line from that. So right now my uh, leader is walking back towards my base. And there, there's uh, T, TRF Wood Gold Farm. That is also a trap. Uh, they, they know I'm doing this. So um, that is basically them knowing what's going on there. And who's, who, who's rallying me there? Is that, was that my own guild? Uh, it might have been my own guild rallying me there, but um, uh, my leader is walking back towards my base. Um, someone is next to me right now. They are waiting for my leader to walk back. That's the WW Sky Ufi. I'm also getting scouted by a bunch of other people. Um, XIX is scouting me here. Um, I don't know who else is going to be scouting me. But uh, this is the one where uh, Rye, Rye, Ryan, um, he got a little mad at me for what I do in this video. So apologize to you. I, I, I know you guys were allies and stuff, but this is what I do if I trap someone. I will I will uh, do what I do in this video. I'll, I'll tell you guys later, but um, it's it's not because it was personal or anything. It's just, it's just because that's what uh, I have to do as a trap. I can't take rallies and stuff like that. So um, if you're wondering why, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it later in the, <laughs> in the video though. But um, there is one person currently waiting. Another person poured next to me, F.U. Kazungun? Kazun? Kazgun? Kuzgun, yeah, or something like that. I hope that I'm saying that right. <laughs> Kuzgun. Okay, sounds interesting. Um, anyway, so someone is attacking me here. They're sending 250,000 in their leader. My leader is still walking back. Um, I'm not worried about 250,000 march. There's no way they're getting march back. <laughs> I guess this guy knows what's going on, so maybe he wasn't actually going to hit me, but he was just sitting there. But Kuzgun obviously didn't understand what was happening there. Um, he only injured 129,000. I do not have my leader at this point. I do have less troops than I had before. Oh, I think it was because I was trying to stay lower might. I think that's what was going on there. Um, we'll take a look what he sent. He sent Cav. I was, was I even infantry Phalanx? Yeah, I was not infantry Phalanx. I wasn't even worried about switching the Phalanx, honestly. If you're going to send 250,000, I'm just like, whatever. Um, not a big deal. It's not going to do much damage to me, even without my leader. Even with my leader walking back, like a 250 is not going to do anything to me unless, let's say, they are like the Emperor or something like that. But then again, I probably wouldn't be letting him hit me without my leader. I wouldn't even risk that. I'd either, uh, well, actually, I did kind of risk that in the last video, but never mind about that. <laughs> I was, I, I would speed my leader back if I could. Um, but yeah, it was obviously really far away. It's still walking back at this point. I have the guy's leader at this point. It's still a minute and 45 seconds. Um, so what's going on here is they're probably going to end up rallying me. Oh, uh, yeah, SFYs has a, a tracker rally on me right there. But uh, that I believe I was still in SFY at the time. I think so. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I was SFY at the time. It was after migrating here and doing all that stuff that I ended up um, not going back to SFY. I, I can't remember why. It was oh, it was probably because I I, I couldn't keep up with the uh, the the oh he's he's what's what's going on there? Um, he's getting uh, what's called a uh, familiar blasted. Okay, that was what was going on. And my uh, my I guess my my what's called uh, timer went off right in the middle. Of that I don't know why I had a timer on, but that that was really weird. Um, anyways, I'm not sure what was going on there, but, uh, he ended up porting away and all that. And I guess he was getting familiar and all that. So this guy is sending his leader and tier two, which is interesting. Usually, usually people don't send their leader with tier two, but some people do on these traps, uh, just because, uh, like I said, it's people don't really expect a trap like this. So he's sending tier two range with his leader. So not a good idea. Do not send tier two in your leader. If you're gonna send anything, send tier four if you're sending your leader, or don't send your leader, because um, it you might get capped. So this guy is sending his leader. I could port away and actually take it right now, but I wanna act like I'm offline. So I might get a follow-up attack. Um, obviously he's gonna lose his leader there, because my leader's already back at that point. Um, and, and obviously I'm not worried about a tier two. And the other guy, I guess, who, someone else was sending an attack, realized the other guy got capped. Um, and recalled he probably didn't realize he sent tier two though um that's usually not what people send but yeah he ended up losing his leader because he sent well not because he sent tier two but he sent tier two in his leader so it was not going to be hard to cap honestly if i was like a wall trap or something it would have been easy because i it's really easy to take tier two out so he didn't have a scout on me or anything he's still sending his leader in tier two which is interesting um i'm also getting po uh, posted in global there so actually wait 
yeah, I'm getting posted in Global. I'm in a random guild right now. So I ended up capturing XRX uh, leader. Um, so that's XRX Maxman. He obviously didn't have his gear on or anything. He just had speed up gear. He thought I was an empty castle. Oh, I think they were doing rallies, and I sent my leader right through the middle of the rally. I think that's what was going on. So I I poured in my alt to the other side of the rally and released my leader back through the middle of where they were rallying someone. So they obviously saw what was going on. And then this guy was like, oh, there's a free leader. I'm just going to send tier two. But he ended up sending his leader as well, unfortunately for him. Um, only injured some of my tier ones. And yeah, so... Um, yeah, so now I have his leader. Now I'm going to wait around and see what happens because... Uh, a lot of the times what will happen is oh actually this guy tried to release the leader so this is wolf panda here um let's see he did two hundred thousand. he ended up losing that pretty uh pretty hard there oh i was in infantry so yeah so he he did he it was a pretty good hit wolf panda does have good gear by the way um this was he didn't have familiars at the time but he does get them later um uh, but yeah that was a decent hit by him uh, Wolf Panda ended up injuring 240,000 my front line, and then I guess some of my tier one. All right. Oh, I must have a tier one in my front line at that point. Okay, so I had tier one in my front line at that point. That's that's why there's all this tier one in my infirmaries. I was like, he didn't have the familiar that injured uh, what's called tier one, but oh, there's someone else uh, attacking me, so I'm gonna heal up here, and I think it might have been a one troop or something. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think he actually did any damage, so. I think he might have hit me with a single troop there, or what was going on, or did he recall? Because it didn't say anything hit me, and I'm not in a guild right now, so I should probably join a guild, um, because what could happen right now is they could be rallying me, and I don't know, because I'm not actually in a guild right now. Um, I think I was trying to ju jump back into my other guild. Um, I think it was... I'm not sure why. Oh, I think it was just I had already trapped him, so I was going to jump back in the guild. And we were not allied with uh, XIX at this time. We were used to be allied. Yeah, I was still in SFY at the time. So I'm just going to join a random guild, see what the rally is at. Because I knew there was a rally on me. But this guy is not a very big rally leader. So um, I probably wouldn't want to take the rally anyways from this guy. Um, just because, like I said, I'm not in a guild. I can't take reinforcements. Um, he did cancel the rally. So I'm just going to leave the guild quickly. Try to join back into SFY. Um, but yeah, we used to be allied with the XIX guild for the longest time, but then we had a merge and then we weren't allied with them anymore. So at this point we were not allied with them. Um, if they were out, if we were allied with XIX, I would give the leader back right away because allies do that. But unfortunately at the time we weren't allied, but there was still some like, kind of like, oh, we were allied at one time and all that. And I know I, I do feel bad about that, but at the time we were not allied, so that's that's what's going on there so um yeah so he is basically saying there i'm waiting for them to rally me uh, what happened was they ended up trying to rally me and then i ended up uh, i think migrating away <laughs> uh, i'm not sure if i'm still in the right kingdom right now um but i think i ended up migrating away because they tried to rally me and then i was like okay i better leave and i have both their leaders now because i think um what's called uh they tried to release it. That's what happened. Because XRX, um, I think uh, Wolf Panda was in XIX, but he was in FU at the time. He tried to release the other guy's leader. Ended up losing his leader too, and I ended up migrating. And because they were rallying me, so I just decided to migrate there. So Wolf Panda here, decent gear, good infantry gear, um, really good infantry set, very very decent hits and all that. Like I said, he didn't have full familiars at the time, but I think he has probably has full familiars now. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and then that was the... I'll show you the uh, actual video of it there. So, yeah. So, he breached my wall, came down. The uh, familiar start going off. This is the one that boosts attack and all that. Uh, and as you see, my, my morale is going down, but morale doesn't actually mean anything. I know a lot of people look at morale and like, oh, uh, I'm losing morale because of this, and that's why I lost. No, it's not the morale, because the fights take a certain amount of time. It doesn't matter what the morale is. If you lose more than the other person, let's say on defense, um, your morale will just literally just drop to 1% for like 20 seconds, and it'll be fine, and you can win, and then then you you never drop below 1% if you win then. See ya. And yeah, my siege actually did not target the siege. You can see the siege ended up hitting after that. So he could have got walk, walk back if he was actually uh, basically good enough to do that, but um, he didn't do enough damage. So, and here's right after. So th what happened after this was uh, 
I had migrated, so what happened is they didn't really have a choice uh, other than to rally me. So these, this, I guess he had, uh, someone had messaged J-O-D to basically rally me and get the leader back. And I think they put a, a bounty on me as well at the time. But uh, I also knew the reason why I picked this kingdom actually was, he has a hundred mil bounty on me right now. But um, I think why I picked this kingdom was because I knew the, uh, knew the what's called overlords and i knew they were gonna rally me or at least i could tell them not to rally me because uh i knew them for a while at that point because my baby trap had been in the kingdom and i'd been in their guild at one point and all that stuff so um jod decided to port next to me rally me i looked at this guy and i was like yep yeah, i'll definitely take this rally uh just because his gear i saw his gear before that um it's not good enough to basically probably win the rally against me especially with this many people he need a full rally to actually win and then I might actually be in a little bit of trouble, but his gear is worse than mine. I had better jewels and all that. So if he he decided to actually cancel the rally because he didn't have enough or a good enough rally, or what it's called, not enough people to fill the rally. And there was like tier three in there too. It wasn't just all tier four. So I would I would have loved to actually take that rally, but um, unfortunately they weren't going to actually rally me there because they uh, didn't have enough people to actually fill. And even if they did, I'm not sure. If I'm pretty sure I could have won that rally just because there would have been a lot of tier four in that. Um, actually, are they still filling? No, they canceled again. So they canceled like three or four times on me and I was just like, okay. <laughs> canceled like three times. I was like, nah. Okay, I give up. This They are not definitely not going to rally me. But we'll try one more time. So I guess the... Uh, I guess the Overlord decided to give them the... Uh, well, I haven't actually told the Overlord that it's me. Because obviously it's not my name. It's like Queen Bee Kill. Like, they don't know who that is. <laughs> so, once the Overlords actually did end up rallying me later, I told them. And then they, they cancelled all that. So, they didn't actually end up rallying me for the uh, for the bounty or anything like that. And then I think the bounty does go up quite a bit. I think it got up quite high. But um, did not end up getting rallied by them or anyone else and i think even this one they end up canceling so i sw actually switched to cav phalanx i thought he was going to go cav and we'll we'll see what happens here because we'll see if there's actually going to rally me or not because this is uh this was let's see yeah 16 seconds left before the rally starts and I, th I think they think I'm offline or something because I have not moved or anything. And they canceled again. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> How many times am I going to sit here and cancel? And then they try again for, like, the 55th time. I was like, okay, I I'll move away. Um, they're actually filling now this time. And we'll see if they actually send the rally now. Now they have a better rally leader. He's got decent gear. Uh, well, not well, not decent gear. He's got okay gear for a small kingdom like this. Um, it's not good gear or anything like that. So I didn't, I wasn't like crazy worried about these rallies. And like I said, I'm not even a fury. So if I really, really needed the shield, and they canceled for like the fifth time, I'm like, <laughs> can you stop this? Like, if you're gonna rally me, at least rally. Hey everyone, so uh, CNW is currently recruiting. So if you are 400 plus mil might and you want to join a good guild, uh, we are now recruiting some people. We need 400 plus mil. You need to have wolf sigils to help with the uh, the battles and stuff for the wonders and stuff like that. Uh, we do do barons and stuff like that too, so we do support the baron. Um, so if you want to join a big guild, uh, also we don't do guild fest, so that's another perk for that. If you hate guild fest and you want to join a big guild, we do not do guild fest. I mean, you can do guild fest if you really want, but it's not a requirement. So don't worry about that. You don't have to stress out about Guildfest or anything like that. Um, we're more just about warring and stuff like that, not the other stuff. So if you guys want to join a good guild, uh, message Scro. I will add his link down in the description down below. Just add him and he'll uh, get you added to the guild. Uh, do the application with him and all that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.